Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Crew Mode 4 Lamborghini here for the Italian Grand Prix for what will be a home Grand Prix for us as a team as well but before we go to that we have a bit of housekeeping to do as we are going to be taking an engine penalty for this race weekend Monza and easy track to overtake on so it makes sense and components have been wearing fairly quickly and now I don't really show this but they have been wearing quite a lot and we're going to need to take a new engine at some point this season so it makes sense that it is here in Monza so we did our one lap that we've got to do so we'll be able to start the race and we'll have to go to the FIA but we're starting last anyway so let's go to the race Monza, the oldest circuit on the calendar which hosted its first race all the way back in 1922 today we look forward to the Italian Grand Prix This place is all about speed. It is a unique challenge. You've got the chicane at turn one, the Varianti Ascari at turns eight, nine, and 10, and the Parabolica to conclude things at 11. Top speeds pushing 215 miles per hour. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Stroll, Verstappen, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Norris, Leclerc, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Albert, Gasly, Magnussen, Ocon, Fittipaldi, Sargent, De Vries, Liam Lawson, the reserve driver, and Brown. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. Joined once again by former Formula One driver Anthony Davidson. And they've had a lot of on-track incidents recently. That could leave them low on confidence. Certainly confidence is an important factor. And every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers were able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. So we're here on the grid then, ahead of the Italian Grand Prix. I think top five has to be the aim for this race for us. Minimum. Anything higher than that I think is going to be a bonus. We're doing it the usual one stop, but starting on the soft, going to the mediums. And yeah, let's just see. We can only go forward one car at a time. We can't rush, we can't do anything rush. We just need to keep our nose clean because the championship could be a deciding factor by the time we get to Vegas. But the five red lights go out here and we are away and we've got an unbelievable start. We're already past the Alpha Tari and everyone's really slow away. We've overtaken six, seven, eight cars as we get down into the first corner and we go down the inside of the Alfa Romeo that turns to the outside line. We make sure we get the power down to swing around the outside of turn two of the Alfa Romeo. Now, free the Gava Grande, we go for the first time. There's a red bullet Perez up ahead and I want that place. Up the inside we go and we've got the McLaren of Oscar Piastri as well in the process as we have a big snap of oversteer but we have gained a hell of a lot of positions on the opening tour of the Italian Grand Prix round the outside goes George Russell on Lando Norris you can see the train behind and look where we are we're into P8 from last to P8 in one lap, I don't think that's bad going. It's side by side, it is George and Sainz coming out to the Cava Grande. The Cava Alfabeto, whatever it's called now, as we are eyeing up a move here to try and get at least one of them here. They're almost free wide, the Ferrari, the Alfa and the McLaren. And now, side by side, two by two, they go into the first corner. And round the outside. We're really just trying to find any gap we can to get past. And we've found a gap now as we go around the outside of the McLaren of Lando Norris. As now we head into 
the second chicane and we've got down inside of the alpha now our factory bought us as well and in a lap and a half here in in Monza we've gone from last to P6 we're on target for what I, what the aim was of P5 as this is Alonso and Verstappen battling over P2 Lewis Hamilton at the front has bolted he's looking to make it back to back wins after Zandvoort side by side they go now through the car for Grande Alonso gets ahead of Max Verstappen and stays ahead that Max though gets him back and Alonso isn't having any of it as they head down the pit straight and the Aston Martin takes the place back but Max isn't done yet as he sends it laid up the inside who can get the exit now they're side by side as we go round the curve of Grande they go Max Verstappen is ahead of Fernando Alonso as now we were starting to pull away we didn't quite have the pace to get anywhere near the Ferrari of of sight and then eventually Stroll he fell back as there is Perez getting past the McLaren and now Perez wouldn't take him long before he's on the back of us lap 11 we're thinking of boxing this lap as into the Carver Grande we go into the Parabolica we go and now we've run a bit wide, we've run a bit wide and we've been cleared by Perez and we're spinning round and into the okay, barrier and into the pit lane he spun us round we've got a penalty for that and just like that things can change in Monza and we've got a penalty we're going to need a new front wing on the car as well the safety car is out that's a big big crush how our front right has not been ripped off in the process I don't know that was a big big crash and Perez is still going without a front wing as well we just from a little bit wide Perez stuck his nose on the inside we were boxing just a bit of miscommunication between us and the Mexican driver the Red Bull driver and that's that's created a massive high speed crash then which means we're now down towards the back and we've got to go again as Perez is going to have to be held up here because Max has happens ahead Red Bull double stacking and what is already going to be a very very long stop for Perez made even longer by the fact Max was still in the pit box but on lap 14 this is going to be it the safety car period is ending and we can get back racing here in Monza 13 laps to go what can we do now we can only go forward but we have a 5 second time penalty from the incident for some reason so we need to be wary of that Need to pull five seconds as we send it up the inside lane into the first corner. Lando goes bouncing over the curb and he's put us onto the gravel. And as we try and find some grip and away back onto the race track, we have lost loads of positions. We've gone further and further back. And now look who is behind us. It's the Red Bull of Sergio Perez. We may have round two. We go down the inside of on in the, the Alpine there and now we really need to get the hammer down if we want to get some points minimum in this race 11 laps to go down the inside we're gonna go on the half and catch Magnussen napping as now I did not the back straight out of the parabolic and now we go and the horse is actually going to come back at us off Magnussen but we're not, we're not looking at him, we're not even going to bother defending him because we're looking higher up as they are for a male and the Williams we send it late up the inside, Magnussen tried to follow us and I think there's been a lot of contact there Magnussen had to back out but he was so committed so late it's lap 17 now, we're hunting down Alonso and the McLaren of Oscar Piastri and the Aston Martin's engine has blown up and we've overtaken both Alonso and Lando Norris there and 
what is going on here in Monza? Everything is happening. This has been such a good Grand Prix in terms of action, not in terms of result. Lap 19 though, this is Piastri and Gasly going wheel to wheel and this is the battle we were looking at and trying to get somewhere near. As they're side by side through the first chicane, who can get the exit? And ahead it looks like Gasly in the Alpine has got the exit and he has Piastri though coming back at the Frenchman and re-overtakes the Alpine into turn one. All of this is allowing us to get closer and closer to him. As Gasly look at the speed with the DRS to re-overtake the McLaren and now we have really got on the back of the Alpine and the McLaren as now can we get the exit, we're getting closer, we're getting closer to the McLaren, we're getting closer we're going to try and go to the outside but we're going to turn back into the slipstream and we're going to go down the inside at the, the second chicane we've hesitated a bit but we've still got the job done on Piastri next up is Gasly Reed's position for probably going to lose but we sent it late, late very late on the inside of Gasly and We've also gone trudging through the gravel as well, kept the car in a straight line the second time today. We've been through the gravel. Gasly though, we didn't have the pace to get away so now we are just gap watching. We're not going to beat Gasly, we've still got that 5 second time penalty as we chop him off at the first corner. Lap 25, we just couldn't pull away, we're going to lose out to minimum Gasly and Piastri. As we're battling now over P7, we're really just watching the McLaren of, of Lando and also Albon in the Williams. As we're now going wheel to wheel with this three way battle into turn one. We get past both of them, stay past both of them. We force Gasly wide and that's allowed Piastri to get through. And onto the final lap now, that's not a five second gap, we're going backwards. As, as now Gasly and Piastri going wheel to wheel Piastri fending off Gasly for not the first time today look at the train there is behind Gasly gets past the McLaren Lando now just behind also the Williams but this man Lewis Hamilton no problems whatsoever today down with a safety car he's done that many many times and he wins the Italian Grand Prix ahead of Carlos Sainz who's got one car on the podium for the Defosi P2 for Sainz and it's a double podium for Mercedes which is not good for us in terms of constructors because we're fighting one handed as we round the final corner you can see our 5 second time penalty it's going to be P7 on the road but it's going to be P12 after the penalty. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. There it is then. Victory in the Italian Grand Prix. A historic race and an achievement they can be immensely proud of. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everyone played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
So that's been your Italian Grand Prix, then won by Lewis Hamilton, back to back wins for Lewis Hamilton after Zanfo. And also, with that win, means it ends our run of winning every other race this season. I think if he hadn't taken a penalty, the win was there, but very chaotic race for us. The penalty not helping us means we don't even score a point for the first time since Austria when we retired in that race. One retirement being Fernando Alonso, that could have been very nasty as we were going side by side and also was Lando at the time going into the Hiscari chicane. With George finishing third and us not scoring a point, it means the gap now is just seven points and that gap of 29 points we had a couple of races ago feels like a distant memory now as it's really eating up now between us and George in the championship not that many races to go now as well in terms of the constructors Mercedes take the lead of that and I think that's the constructors decided Aaron Barnes isn't helping us out whatsoever we're fighting one-handed and when we have races like that when we don't score it's also not very helpful either but I hope you enjoy enjoyed this video and this race a very entertaining race here at Monza we go to Suzuka next for the Japanese Grand Prix but after here we need to bounce back I'll see you then goodbye